a single woman terrified. It was so much easier than hitting on my wife was. <laughs> Way easier, because when, when the single woman said no, I could just go home without her. <laughs> it was great. You know, when you're married, you hit on them, they say, no way. Then you have to just climb into bed <laughs> with the person that shot you down. <laughs> so imagine that, single guys, go to the bar tonight, hit on a woman, no way in hell. And then you both get in the car and drive home together. <laughs> Plus, when you're single, if the woman shoots you down, you can just kid yourself about the rejection, right? You're like, well, she doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> You're married? Oh, she knows what she's missing. Yeah. It's, it's why she said no. It's, it's an informed decision she made about your... So I get this. this. I finally did go on some dates. This one was... Met my wife while I was living in my tent. Game, huh? That's some game. No, it's not. It was a blind date. I was lined up with my wife on a blind date while living in a tent. Okay, her friends lined her up with the homeless dude. <laughs> How shitty are your friends? <laughs> not very thorough, at least, not too thorough. <laughs> any kind of screening going on there at all? Was there any questions asked? Well, he loves the outdoors. <laughs> Smells like deet. Yeah, it works, man. I, we hit it off so well. Man, I remember that first day with my wife. It was amazing. I had never met a woman like this. She loved Matisse. She spoke fluent French. She introduced me to Chet Baker. And I remember just falling in love and just looking at her, just thinking, oh. I gotta get a bigger tent. <laughs> I so wanna hit on her. It's not, it's not that weird, just a lot of rules. I had the rules, there's no drinking, uh, no smoking, uh, no premarital sex, and the most lo logical rule, no coffee. No, think about it. You can't drink, you can't smoke, you can't have sex. Why stay awake? <laughs> right? What? Why even get out of bed, really? It's just... It wasn't weird to me. I know it's weird to you, but all that, even the no coffee wasn't weird to me because everybody in the town thought coffee was evil. <laughs> Yeah, they all thought it was bad. So when the whole town's doing something weird, it's not weird, right? It's normal then. Yes, exactly. The one person doing something weird, yeah, that's a nut. But a group of people doing something weird, that's a church. <laughs> that's what happens. So it wasn't weird to me. But my wife did not grow up in that. She, my wife's Irish Catholic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, practicing Irish Catholic. I mean, every weekend, drunk. <laughs>